Hi, I'm Brian Nauta. I'm joined here by head women's volleyball coach Steve Florio. And Steve, last weekend you guys traveled to Southern Illinois, played three matches, three very tough matches. Can you talk a little bit about the weekend? Uh, it was a growing weekend for us. Uh, the results weren't what we wanted, but we learned from the losses and found a lineup that I think we're going to run with for a while. Um, also found a player uh, that we hadn't been utilizing. Turns out uh, Anna Reed is quite the blocker. She had 14 blocks against um, uh, Marshall, and then she went ahead and did it against uh, K-State, had another 14 blocks against K-State, not, not to mention five against Southern Illinois. Um, so in our losses and looking for answers, uh, we think we stumbled upon quite a nice blocker. Um, first one match, when she had to 14, you could say maybe it was just like a, you know, a fluke, but then when she went ahead 14 against K-State, which is you know typically around the top 25, um, I don't think that's a fluke anymore. So, um, yeah, we tough weekend for us, uh, you know, in the win, in the loss column, but a uh, good weekend for us in that I think we found a lineup and a, and a player that's ready to help us. And you talked a little bit about Anna there, but named Defensive Player of the Week the first time in her career, averaged almost two and you know two point seven block, five blocks a match or a set. Um, can you talk a little about just a little more about her this weekend. Uh, she's um, she's been great as far as you know last year she didn't get a lot of playing time and up till this point she hasn't got a lot of playing time but she has worked so hard in practice um, she's been uh, in practice we've known she was a great blocker and we just decided that we were having trouble defending a middle attack so we decided let's put her in and see what she can do and she was she answered the call I mean it's exactly what you want to do when you're somebody that's on the bench and you get an opportunity to play is you want to come in and show that you belong on the floor and so you know great job by her answering the call and in, in fantastic fashion at that. And you guys open up at home finally against Ball State, a big in-state rivalry between the two schools. Can you talk a little bit about the match with them? Yeah, it's going to be a great match. Um, Ball State plays obviously really good volleyball, really good defense. They're coached by Steve Shondell, a legendary coach here in the state of Indiana. And, um, you know, whenever they come to town, we always get a big crowd, so expect high energy in the gym. We like playing in that environment, and um, I think our girls have the other big thing about the match. It's our first home match uh, of the 2014 season, and I think the, after, you know, 10 matches on the road, I think everyone's ready to get a little home cooking. All right, Coach, and it's your first home match as a head coach. You know, what are, your, what are you most excited about? Uh, I'm really excited for everyone to see our team play. I mean, for me, I've been here 12 years, so it's not the first time I've coached in this gym, and uh, I'm so focused on getting things right with the team and making sure we're going to be playing our best volleyball. Um, it just hasn't even dawned on me until you really you asked me about it. Um, but what I'm most excited about really is I want people to see our team. I know we're going to have a big crowd because it's Ball State. It's a big rival match, and we're going to have a lot of people watching us. And I think when they see our team play tomorrow night, they're going to realize we got some really good volleyball right here in Fort Wayne, and they're going to want to come back and watch us some more. I mean, just so proud of this group of girls we have. All right, Coach, thanks, and good luck against Ball State. Thank you.